a package? I don't even remember. Was all this here at the end of the last part? Well, I remember that newspaper. Ah, yes. Uh, we did read this. The amulet is dangerous. It must be exercised. Point the crucifix and feel as the light passes through. The crucifix will glow when the light is ready to channel. Point this at the amulet to rid it of darkness. Now, I have no idea how I got away with taking all that stuff from the crime scene, but apparently it's a good thing I did, because I guess I'm going to need it. Especially after I not only took evidence from the crime scene, but apparently moved the body by everyone else's appearances. I have no idea how I'm still employed here. I have no idea how I would have explained this to the department. But I saw what I saw corpse moving on its own, and something spoke to me in the confessional. It said its name is Legion, but what does it want? Whatever it is, it apparently has something to do with me. Now I'll be honest, I've gotten a little bit obsessed with this. There's so much going on here and so much mystery to uncover, I can't wait to explore this further. And as it has been over a week between parts at this point, I think I'm going to go with my original plan of playing the next two chapters one after the other, depending on how long they are. Now, before I get to that, I'm going to address a couple of things that you guys talked about. Uh, first of all, you can probably see if I move my left hand here, uh, you'll probably see that there's a little bit of a fold, a little bit of a wipe that it goes through. Uh, that's not a bug on my end. That's... An unfortunate consequence of stitching both eyes together uh, using Steam's default method of doing that. The alternative, unfortunately, is to do a much narrower field of view in a much narrower aspect ratio, and it just looks really weird, and honestly, for a lot of people, myself included, that's a little bit nauseating. So it's just kind of something we have to deal with unless there's another way of doing it. But let's head over. Uh, before we get started... Uh, I imagine this is acting as a little bit of a training exercise, so let's bring out our... Nope. Uh, this, these controls are a little bit weird when it comes to the menus. Uh, I have to rotate them. Uh, we'll open this up and take the crucifix. This is what we're going to use to exercise the amulet. Now, of course, you can't tell this, but there's a little bit of a vibration that occurs when I'm holding it that seems to be like a warm or colder thing. See, over here, the further I get from that amulet, the less it seems to vibrate. But when I come back, oh, it starts to glow when I point it in the direction of the artifact. Did anybody else just see that? Kathy? Kathy, come look at this. Oh. I really feel like it would help my case if there had been some witnesses to that. But, now I've uncursed this amulet. Uh, does that mean I get to wear it? I mean, look, it can't even fit behind my watch. Come on. You're really going to tell me I don't even get to keep the bling? Uh, what's even the point of this job? Alright, now I believe if I set down a crucial object, it will reappear back in my little book of spells. Yep. Uh, we also have other things in here, such as vials of holy water, which we can throw, and they'll break upon impact. Uh, this thing, which I believe sprays holy salt or something. That's not something I've ever heard of. And this thing, which I believe is some kind of burner? Not quite sure how this works. Nothing's happening when I click. Hmm. I guess we'll have to learn how these things work in the field. Uh, On-the-job training is pretty difficult when you're dealing with demons. I have a feeling that's going to get me killed. Or worse. In the time between these parts, I have gone ahead and watched the first Exorcist movie. And I don't really feel like I understand things any better, which... I guess is a good thing, because as I said before, I feel like a big part of religious horror is about being just so in over your head. 
dealing with forces so far beyond your comprehension that there's no way you can have any idea what it is you're dealing with. Is what you're doing the right thing, or is it just more deception? In any case, we'll be beginning part two. Idle Hands. St. Dymphna Community Hospital. The logo by the door reads, Compassion, Care, and Safety. <laughs> the signs outside say, Do not pick up the hitchhikers. What can I find out about Lucy Moss? What has taken hold of her? What is that? Oh. Hey, are you there? Prep the patient for your visit, but there was an electrical fire that's caused some sort of security lockdown across the entire facility. I'll come down to meet you as soon as I can secure patients for the day. And by the way, we still have the patient's belongings. I put them out on the security room table for you to take a look at. Please, do not attempt to speak to the patient until I can get down there. What is going on with this speaker? I, I believe that he said, I mean, it was kind of hard to hear. I'll be boosting the audio in post, but it, it sounded like he said that there was some kind of fire in the building that messed with the, that messed with the electronics in the building or the electricity. Maybe that's what's causing the interference or maybe something doesn't want me to speak with this patient. Now, I believe this is someone that was seen But let's try and learn as much as we can before we get a move on. There she is on the screen, I guess. There's actually... Oh, this is such a weird phenomenon in VR, but there's actually a glare on the screen. It's kind of hard to see. I'm actually having to move my angle to try and get a better look. Oh, there's... There's moths flying around the room. Just like the confessional where we found the body of the priest. Now, we were warned not to attempt to speak with this patient until the person on the radio arrives. Hang on. Susie in... Susie in Y2 was adorable today. Saw the boys... Hang on, it's hard to read. Saw the boys... Poking at a live frog. The litter pick, and instead of screaming like the other girls... She moved the boys aside and carefully picked up the poor thing. She was awesome. We walked down to the lakeside and let him go. So cool. So I guess uh, Susie was a compassionate one. Hello? Insects and superstition and understanding black magic, so whoever she is, uh, she was researching these things, and we must once again note the presence of moths in that mythology. Now what is this? Tattoos? Is that a moth tattoo? Lucy Moss, born, uh, hmm, born August 8th, 1988, 08 uh, numerous tattoos and markings, distinctive satanic symbols on her arms, seemingly random numbers and letters on her knee, on her knuckles, uh, description, young woman displays varying states of aggression, Upon contact with others, approach with caution. So she's aggressive. Uh, no previous criminal record. Arrested by local police department for arson, kidnap, and intentional poisoning of minors with intent to kill. 
Is she? No, wait, I don't think she's uh, one of the people that the priest was seeing. I, I think she's the one named in the newspaper for trying to poison that busful of third graders. Uh, this is the danger of waiting a week between parts. Unfortunately, I've been really busy this week, so I didn't really have a choice. Believe me, I wanted to get back into this as quickly as possible because I am super intrigued. A and I'm really glad that they've decided to go with that whole mystery investigation angle with the gameplay. It's like I'm driven by a desire to know more, and yet... Uh, it's almost like reaching into a bucket of needles knowing that there's something good at the bottom. The more it hurts, the more I want to know. Another piece of burned paper. They blame it on cuts. Last in, first out, they say. Cover work. They even called me to cancel when I was on my way in. What the hell can I do? More tattoos. F4D2. Now I note that... I note that there's a musical tone that plays when I pick certain items up. Does that mean that I'm entering it as evidence? Because as we saw, there is a chart at the end of each level that will tell us what evidence we gathered. We'll have to remember to be very thorough. And it doesn't seem like we can interact with this control panel at all. Handcuffs. I can't open it, though. Is that something I'm going to need? It seems like this is a patient that we'll want to restrain, although presumably the hospital will take care of that. Ooh, snacks. Uh, they're looking a little moldy, though. Also, this is a freezer seemingly being stored with samples. Why, why are you keeping lunch in here? Uh, that looks absolutely gross. It doesn't look like the freezer is doing much for you. Uh, well. What about in here? Th this, this sample freezer is literally more lunch than sample. I'm sure they won't mind me rifling around in here. There's got to be something of use, right? Actually, if these are blood samples, all seemingly unlabeled, so more poor practices on their part, maybe we'll have to use it for something at some point? Hmm. A travel chessboard? Oh man, I haven't played chess in years. If there's going to be some puzzle around this, I don't think I'm going to be able to remember what to do. You know, there's definitely going to be a puzzle because they snap into place. You know, it just occurred to me. I have been waiting here for quite a while now. That's kind of cool how the clock actually works, but... I don't know if that guy's coming at this point. Is that the room across the way? Yeah, I, I can see I can see the moths flying around. And there's a stain on the glass. Like someone smashed into it at some point. Uh, can I get through? I can't, the door is locked. Uh, should I go? Should I go see someone? Can't leave, I'm locked in. So, what do I do? I, I guess I have to solve the puzzle. Now, according to this map, I'm in the security room, and she's being kept in the isolation soft cell, which is its own little divot directly off of the security room, presumably for constant supervision. Wait, I, I just realized this board is actually labeled like a grid. So we have A through F as the x-axis, but 1 through 6 as the y-axis. So wait, so, okay, so maybe we can, because I know there was, yes, 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 okay. Now we just have to figure out which of these things corresponds to which piece. Uh, this one doesn't have, this one doesn't have any label on it. This is A6C1. Uh, that one also doesn't have a label, but this one does. Okay, so that's A6C1F4D2. 
So A6, I'm just putting random pieces. I'm, I'm not trying to figure out what goes where yet. A6, C1. F4, D2. Aha! I don't know if it mattered. Uh, judging by the heavenly choir, I'm assuming that this is important. Oh, we're, we're getting a notification on our watch. That means that we can... That means that we can do something. Stop teleporting. Uh, how do I... How do I use you? Bees resin. A rare sap found in tropical climates burns at a much slower rate than traditional oils. Upgrade added to toolkit. Wait, so does that mean that... Does that mean that that's an upgrade to the burner that we had? I still don't know how to use this thing. Alright, I'm assuming that that's an upgrade to that. Okay, so exploration not only improves our investigative score, it also allows us to upgrade the equipment that we have. Another interesting detail I just noticed. You can actually see what a fighter she was when she was brought in by the smudging on these fingerprints. It looks like she had to have her fingers forced onto the paper. Hmm. I couldn't figure out what to do, but the hint thing is highlighting this book over here. Oh! No. No, 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 no. Nobody can see me. Nobody can see me. Uh, 19 legions of spirits. Uh, this must be another book that she was brought in with. I, I wonder if the information in here can be used to figure out what each of these symbols means, but now is not the time for that. Uh, should I maybe... Should I maybe get out... Yield safety blanket? Maybe this can only be used to purify objects. I didn't do it. I didn't break nothing. Yes, where are you? Come on, get down here. door has been unlocked. Okay, hang on. Let's uh, prep for this encounter. Where? Where? Where is my escort? Uh, I can't even see what I'm getting into. There's no more signal on the video monitors. Whatever it is, I'm ready. This game making me feel like my grandma. You've changed corners in there. Oh, this opens outward. I was trying to slide it like the previous door. Uh, is there perhaps something I can jam in the doorway so that it doesn't close behind me? Hang on one second, miss. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna... I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, a book. Yeah. Yeah, a book should do it. Uh, that, that should do it just fine. This thing against that big door? That'll work just perfectly. Uh, let's just leave that right there. Yeah, that'll cause no problems whatsoever. Okay, I'm perfectly safe from the... Oh, you just cheated! No. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. Uh You're a long way from the river. Uh well the story said that I should be compassionate to you that you like that, right? You like people who are who are nice to frog. 
Come on. If I... No, 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 no. I'm on the ground crouching and that makes it so much worse. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys really can't understand how scary this is. When you're there, when you're doing it, having the lights turn off and hearing directional voices all around you. Somebody told me that YouTube now has more, uh, 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 like better up quality audio, like better quality sound that'll enable this experience to land more. And I really hope that's true because uh, sound has been such a big part of this experience. Guys, I had crouched down to, to try and look at the frog and, and, uh, it was hear, hearing something over my shoulder from behind me while I'm crouching down was so it, on a primal level. I just felt so vulnerable. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't trust walls. That's the new. That's the new thing. Uh, okay. Um. Um. Uh, now's the time to start trying out the toolkit. Uh. Put you back. What does this do? What does this do? Uh, I don't know what this does either. Put that there. Okay. Put that back. Uh, okay, now I'm carrying the salt, which I assume works like a spray bottle. Uh, like some kind of, like what you use on some kind of demonic cat and the crucifix, right? One of you guys has to work on whatever's gonna happen here. One of you has to. <laughs> Okay, so going that way is no longer an option. What? Uh, uh, this this delicate glass case holds holy water. Thrown, it smashes upon impact. Hold the trigger to pick up holy water and release to, tr to tr throw it. A uh, hint, sorry, my light is making it blinding. Uh, so I have to not look at it directly. Uh, holy water can be used to put out eternal fires. Um, well, it's not that eternal, then, is it? Okay, uh, open that up, take holy water, and... Yeah, boop! You know, these things are in limited supply. Oh, never mind, I guess they're not. Uh, the, the, the power of Christ compels you. I said the power of Christ compels you. Why isn't this working? Come on, give me more. Right, thank you. Thank you. Ah. I knew my subscription to the Vatican's equivalent of Costco discounts was worth it. Here you go! Uh, I think that's starting to work. It played a sound effect. God, the throwing does not work very well here. Ah, oh, God, I'm not going to be able to rely on that in a pinch. Like, I can put my whole arm into it and it just goes two inches. No, 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 no! no. Uh. Uh, uh, um, oh, I don't have my spray bottle anymore. Uh, there, it, it's so hard to grab a couple of things at once. Okay, you have to drop on the ground. You here? No, 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 you, 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 you here. Okay. Um. Oh wait, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I know how. I know how to make this ultra deadly to a demon, right? Now anybody can hold a cross like this, right? Anybody can ward off a demon this way. But what only what only true exorcists know is that to go for the kill shot, you have to hold it like this. Right? Right? It's science. No, no, no. Ah! Uh, spritz? Spritz? Ah, why isn't it spritzing? I don't know how to use any of these things. I'm just going to assume at this point that... I just have to assume at this point that there will be a tutorial when the time comes to use each of these. Maybe there's not straight up combat. Maybe, maybe each thing has a particular use. Come on, a little more. All right, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna put the spritz bottle away for now. I feel like the. I feel like the oil lantern would be useful. What was that? Oh, look, there's blood dripping through the cracks in the padding. <laughs> uh, 
Hey. You just... You just keep away now, will ya? I'm just gonna... Well, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Okay, I have to be careful here. Uh, I wonder if crouching matters. I wonder if crouching matters. I don't know... I don't know what my hitbox is like to avoid these things. I think I touched one of the hands. Does that do something to me? Does that do something to me? Did you find faith? Was I supposed to see something just now? I mean, I'm glad I didn't. There was a little bit of a demonic groan in the sound of that door lurching open. What happened to my light? Okay, just look down. Just look down and walk forward. Just look down and walk forward. Just look down and walk forward. That's only marginally better. Just keep this thing out as a safety blanket. I haven't actually used the cross for anything yet except to purify that amulet, but uh, I'm just keeping it out on the off chance that it'll offer some form of protection. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. If this game ever decides to throw something in my face, I am... Okay. Hallway a bit longer than I remember it. Hey. Hey there. I just came to visit. Um, I brought... I brought, uh... What did I bring for you? Uh, um... I, I brought... I brought drinks. And, uh, and condiments. Anyway, let's get this freaking demon out of you, will we? Yep. Come on. Get on out. Get on out of there, y'all. Get on out. Go on now, y'all. <laughs> it's glowing, so clearly I'm meant to be doing something. If I touch it to you... Uh, what just happened? I just lost my hand! Um, okay, I think that was a bug. Maybe I'm meant to... I can't... I can't open my hand! Have I become possessed? Okay, guys, I think this is a bug kind of ruining the moment right now. Okay. Mashing buttons worked. Okay, the exorcism is back on. Sorry about that, Satan. Uh, it's my first exorcism. Thank you for being patient. What is that? Some kind of antlered being? And a pair of arms controlling her from behind. But, but, but what else can I do? Just continue holding it here? Uh, it acts as, a, as almost like an illuminator. Showing what I can't see otherwise. Okay, I guess I just triggered something else. I don't know what I did differently, but we are no longer in Kansas. I'm just gonna keep doing this and hope it keeps working. Hey, you all right now? Uh, all right, um, I'll get the doctor, I guess. Is 
she was used by Renov to take souls. Renov? Lucy was free of evil. But at what cost? I I'm not even sure what I did. I, I was holding up that cross for a long time, but I I'm not sure what I did differently to make that exorcism succeed. And I guess I've... I guess I have something new to review? Oh, that was quite an experience, but I just have more questions than ever. Renove? What, what is Renove? Have we seen that name before? I mean, I say that as if I know anything about what's going on here, but I really don't. I really don't. Let's have a look at the case file. Maybe I'll learn a little bit more. A little bit more that I didn't understand. Bruises and cuts, but no lasting damage. Patient will be returned to therapy within the week. Uh, covered in lacerations, bruisings. No broken bones, though. Uh, complete the chapter, finished... Fi okay, checklist. Complete the chapter, finish first exorcism in one. First exorcism in one? Don't use wrong tools on patient and complete the artifact. I, I don't know what any of that means. I mean, I guess the chance of recovery 100%, all right. So I guess we did something right, but I, I, I just don't understand. I will say though, they've captured something great from, I don't remember if I've said before that I went ahead and watched the first movie in the time between parts, and one thing that they captured really, really well in that exorcism is just what an intense battle for a soul that felt like. I mean, it, it really made full use of the VR medium, having all kinds of sounds playing directionally all around me, the world falling apart, the intense shaking and thrashing of the patient while... There's all kinds of haptic feedback going on in the controllers. I mean, it feels like the world is ending around you. And after all of that, after all of that terror and chaos, there's just sudden calm. They really, it, it feels really, really inspired in being an adaptation of the source material. Now, I think between this part and the next, I'm also going to watch uh, part three because some of you guys said I can skip two, skip all the other movies, but watch three because it's underrated. So I'm going to do that. But before then, I'm going to play chapter three, Skin Deep, because I can't get enough of this. And after more than a week of waiting, you guys deserve a longer episode. 2017, Weird Baby Monitor. A win for the Valiant. Detective Exorcist. The Legion felt what you did. You saved Miss Moss. The vile disease is spreading, Detective. The Legion is growing. The CD is copied from a video that surfaced online only three weeks ago. The reel is from 1974. Listen, Detective. What do you hear? Which do we use first? I'm going to go with the original recording to determine if there's any differences. So there's a baby crying, and then a voice. It almost sounds like, like an old woman trying to hush the baby and saying, I'll take you away from these bad people. Okay, now let's listen to the CD. It's 2 a.m. I was asleep on the couch. 
darkness. Did you hear that? Listen. I thought I was hearing things at first, but it happens every night now. Is that a voice? Is, is that person maybe the baby from the recording? Grown up now and... I guess, in some way, is still able to detect that sound. Almost like whatever that presence is has never left? Or, or at least that's my read on it. Okay, well, whatever it is, presumably it'll have something to do with our next case. Okay, I have to know. And do these things... Okay, these don't reveal... Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I think that's a baby monitor from 1974 that's been recorded. This is not... This is not going to be the baby grown up and still hearing this on recordings while they sleep. This is a baby monitor from a current modern day baby. Meaning the same being is doing the same thing with a new child. Okay, let's get over here. St. Homobonus, Fall River, Massachusetts. Fall River? Was the strange voice on the CD the same voice heard back in 1974? As we met at the door, I, assur I assured Mr. Del Mar that the voices on the baby monitor were probably radio interference. I lied. Could this be Abaizu? One of the demons Father Bell described as a member of the Legion? Yeah, so basically, from everything we've found, it seems like Legion is not... Legion is not an entity. Legion is a swarm of entities. <sighs> yes, there's something there. Um, okay. Uh, sorry, baby. Don't have time to save you right now. I gotta read this document. Uh, client stated that the lights in the loft are persistently bursting... Upon inspection, it's unclear what the cause is. The fuse box and electrical circuit are working correctly. Another appointment has been made to investigate further. This must be the couple. Anything else we can find? Sorry, I don't want to rifle through your things. Uh, more, more light boxes. Presumably you go through them like crazy. I'm sorry, I just I want to learn as much as I can. Uh, can't get any of that. Hello. Uh, I can't pick it up, but that looks to be another box of sand. Uh, did they bring something into the house? And for that matter, what is this thing? Uh, can we rotate it? No, it doesn't seem so, although my hand mysteriously... Oh, we can rotate it. But what do we have to do with it? All right, come with me. I want to catch you in the act. Let me guess, you're going to burst on me, right? Now I can't hear anything on the monitor. This is the baby's room? Uh, I was expecting something a little... Well, at the very least, a little more insulated. Alright, let's equip the safety blanket because I honestly do not know what to do without it. Baby? 
lady. Hello? Hi. How you feeling? A moth. The same kind as the one we've been seeing, and the one from the cover of the book. I thought I just heard something. Oh, the lighting in this game is gorgeous. Look at the shadows cast on the ground. My cross now completing the image at the center. Okay, sorry to shine my light directly over you like that. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm meant to be doing, though. There's the other baby monitor. Yeah. Okay, you just sit tight, okay? You're alright. Ah, oh, hello. A faceless entity watching from the window. Can we open this up? Uh, it, it's moving. It feels like we can. And up here is the... Attic. That sounded like maybe a voice playing backwards? Uh... Wait, can we- can we open this up at all? I mean, this whole thing is- this whole assembly is moving, we must be able to! Who are you? <laughs> uh, quite a lot of detail if the desks in the- in the thing can open and close. Ah, I see, it opens this way. What if I try... Uh, what if I put Mommy and Daddy together? Assuming that's what these are. Hmm. There's gotta be something to do with this dollhouse, right? Alright, but enough playing with dolls. I'm here to... I'm here to investigate this paranormal activity. What's oh, in the closet? There's something there. I think there's something there. Oh. oh. Just... Just suits in the bags, I guess. You gonna explode on me? Hi. Uh, what is this? Like one of those spinning mirrors? I used to have one of those. It really freaked me out. I don't know what ended up happening to it, but um, I don't miss it. The only place we haven't checked is through this door. This game really knows how to make me fear every bit of unexplored territory. Oh, a bathroom. Okay, there goes another light. No need to go that way right now, but- Oh no, that was my flashlight that just went out. It's so dark. What do I do? Now remember, um, oh, we just got another hint. Uh, remember that, uh... Oh, geez, I can't think. I'm too, I'm too frightened of this whole setup. Who uses an attic as a baby's room? Uh, I, I keep thinking about that box downstairs that has the sand in it. Maybe they ordered something as a toy for the baby? Maybe even this moth for the mobile. A rugged version of an oil burner. The wick is thicker than normal and appears to be dipped with beeswax. The flame is focused in a spotlight. Use the beeswax oil burner to illuminate your surroundings. Some demons can even be something spelled by its holy light. The oil burner reveals all that is hidden. Okay, uh... Does it have... does it have limited juice? It kind of looks like it does have limited juice. But I suppose we're supposed to use it... No, come on. How do I use it? Ah, I have to click down on the middle stick. 
Uh, that might be a little difficult. That's going to be on the index prone to turning me around. It said it reveals all. Well, my light went out when I entered the bathroom, so I guess we'll check there. A pregnancy test. Huh. So it's like it can detect objects, I guess, with some emotional significance? Something important to the place itself? Yeah, that really wants to spin me around. The box for the pregnancy test as well. Ah, uh, yes, it replenishes. So I can only use it for a little bit at a time. But it replenishes fairly... Quickly. That wasn't lit before. That's the bathroom. <gasps> Wait, so... That's me looking in the cabinet... And that's something else behind me, watching me as I did it. Oh, that is beyond ominous. I, I really love the subtlety of this game. It knows how to do those creeping moments leading up to the absolute terror. And it doesn't fumble either one, and so it's just a perfect, complete experience that knows exactly how to pace itself. Is there anything else in here that I need? A pill bottle. What are you? Oh, I do not like how... That actually helped the, stare, the scare right there, how whipping around is tied to that stick. God, there's got to be a better way to activate this thing. Oh my god, what was that? It was like a tall, lanky figure. The baby's gone. Nobody's with you. Baby's coming with me, bud. This house holds secrets. Yeah, I can tell. Let me show you. Lights exploded again. No. I don't know. I, I, I gotta keep an eye on the... I gotta keep an eye on the level on this thing because I don't want to be left in darkness. Great. Wait. Uh, it kind of looks like there's something back here. Like a... Like a door or something. Hang on. Uh, let's move all this stuff out of the way. Uh. Oh. Uh. I hate the. I hate this whip around on the stick. I would disable it if I could. And there's the woman from the poster. That looks like the dolls from the dollhouse. Oh, there's more back here. I, I guess she was a, a, a fashion designer or model? I really wish it would stop doing that thing where it flicks around when I turn this thing on. Whatever you believe, you will always be beautiful to me. This mirror is smashed. D did, did something... Did something happen to her that did something to her appearance? Cigarettes are addictive. It's got to have something to do with it. Uh, pregnancy horror. Pregnancy horror. Model Maria body shame. Maybe she was pregnant with this baby and that messed with her appearance in such a way that it ruined her modeling career? 
And another. There's like a screeching in my ear. Are those maggots? What's happening? God, what happened to this woman? God, that was just absolute panic. The way that noise was rising... It, it became deafening, and I just couldn't... I, I know it probably wanted me to swing that door open, but with that loud noise, I just couldn't bring myself to progress until that was out of my skull. Okay, let's close you out again. Back into the bathroom? Was this door here before? Thanking ye gods right now that 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 mirror isn't an actual mirror. Fat and ugly, he made you this way. Oh. So the wife, I guess, slit her wrists, maybe. Took to drinking and smoking and. I'm gonna do my best. Now leave, detective. Not gonna happen. And it seems like whatever thoughts she was having were exacerbated by the demon. I don't intend on leaving. Not yet. There's the other baby monitor. I think I... Wait. That's the mirror from in here. What are you gonna show me? What more is there I can do here? I don't know what else to try. Maybe, hang on. Uh, maybe it may be something to do with the cross. Something. Yes, yeah, something. Oh. Yes. Yes. I'm not afraid. Whatever it's doing, it's working. No, Never mind. Did Jesus just lose at arm wrestling? I've crossed through the mirror. That was just a hunch. I can't believe that actually worked. Okay, um, what else? What, what else do I have in my toy box? The cross, truly gone. The burner, I still have. That's a doll. That's a doll. Yeah, I, I can't take that. It's not the real thing. It doesn't have the same trade-in value. I've crossed over to a different world. Or perhaps... 
Perhaps an older version of this house? God, this thing lights so little, and I move so slowly, but I don't feel that I can progress right here. Hello. Okay, I found it. The cross does not run out. Nothing more in the mirror. Where are you? Come on out. Come right on out with you. Jeez, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Mike. You're looking at me now. Okay, well, you ain't welcome either. The cross is glowing. There's something it can interact with. Excuse me, ladies. Oh, fashion statement, I like it. Eh, don't let anybody tell you... Don't let anybody tell you you need a face to be pretty. That's kind of the takeaway from this whole adventure. Out of my way. Hello there. Oh, is it Requiem for a Dream, is it? Come on. Scooch. Scooch. Come on, out of my way. The power of Christ compels you. This thing doesn't want to burn anymore. Alright, I've got you. Come on. Cast out, serpent. Cast out. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Alright. I don't think so. Away with you. Away with you, serpent. There you are. Now that you're exposed, I can get rid of you. Presumably. I'm actually not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing at this moment. Ah, I have to target the serpents themselves. No, you do not. There you go. Away with you all. Nope. You will not. Didn't I used to be a detective? Huh. It's morning. Hey! Oh, you're looking so much better. I offered my condolences to Mr. Del Mar, but chose not to tell him about my encounter with the demon. Oh, so I guess she didn't survive, but they were able to deliver the baby anyway. What could I say? If I don't understand, how could anyone else? When I returned to the precinct to log items into the evidence room, I discovered a new letter on my desk. Who's sending me this information? And how do they know so much about Father Bell's work? Of course it did. That was absolutely intense. Uh, one thing that's taken away from the exorcisms a little bit, I mean, it, it doesn't ruin them by any means, but sometimes it's a little unclear what exactly I'm supposed to be doing. Like with this, I figured out pretty quickly that I had to aim the cross to cast out the serpents, but... You know, sometimes it didn't work. It worked most reliably for the ones on the walls, but in the rafters and on the floor, it worked less reliably. And it made it a little bit unclear what exactly I was supposed to do, but 
on all very intense, and I, I love how you definitely feel the stakes in these things. And in the stories that come across, you really feel the evil of these entities, of the absolute misery that they inflict on the people that they come into contact with. Now before we go, let's see how we did. Chance of recovery, 25%? What? Uh, deep physical and psychological injury sustained. Brain function severely compromised due to prolonged asphyxiation caused by constriction. Okay, I don't feel like that's my fault. Look, find all the memories. Okay, maybe I didn't search hard enough, but don't let a snake reach the crib? That's unfair because I knew what to do and it wasn't working. Aha. Uh -huh. Now what is this? Item added to tool belt, source of power. There must be more locked away. A holy mineral thought by ancient civilizations to draw out evil spirits. Yep, you know I had to come back to save the baby. Used a little bit of the spritzy salt this time. Ma's secret ingredient. There you go. Hope I did a slightly better job this time, baby. Alright, so how are we doing now? 75%. Yeah, it said find all the memories. I just don't know what it meant by that. I mean, I did a much more complete look this time around, but I didn't seem to find anything else. Unless there was something I had to look for in the hallway. Even though I did find the upgrade that was hidden in the globe. Uh, mild psychological trauma sustained, small lacerations around neck and face, which appear to be bite wounds. Bruising to the hands and knees. Overall, though, that's a much better outcome. I promise I'm not going to be doing this for all of them, it's just... That's a baby. I'm, I'm not walking away with a 25% recovery chance. But... If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to do that is at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. If my heart can take it.